our human words can only shadow her who is that her and who is speaking this basically this is an answer which savitri is making to death he has put forward his argument we have seen earlier that this is a place where you cannot house the divine it is not a place for the inhabitation of the divine he cannot come and stay here in response to that savitri is telling something to death and she says that what we are speaking is only a shadow what we are describing is only the shadow of the truth that her stands for the truth and all our expression is only a reflection in fact a shadow chaya of truth of satya that is what savitri is telling to yama now the context is she is first describing how the creation arose from nothing how matter came out of matter how life appeared and then mind she is quickly tracing the course of earthly evolution the evolution on earth and she says that mind the human mind is only a one particular stage about the mind there are already climbing hierarchies of planes of spiritual possibilities spiritual kings which constantly are present there in other words what she is saying is about the human mind is a spiritual level called the higher mind beyond the higher mind is the illumined mind beyond the illumined mind is intuition where you can receive directly things straight from the world of knowledge beyond intuition it is a plane of our mind the world of the gods that is the our mind world so you are at the mental stage but beyond mental stage already there are stages here climbing all the way up to the our mind in the cosmic manifestation these are all the powers which are present in the cosmic manifestation all the present there our mind in the world of the gods where the archetypal realities exist and from there the things on the earth start happening unless those things are present there they cannot appear here on earth so our mind is the world of multiplicity from which things start precipitating downward and you have all these possibilities present on the earth but our mind is not the last step in the hierarchy of things beyond the our mind is the world of truth of knowledge of vijnana of super mind in the transcendent that is the beginning super mind is the beginning of the transcendental realms and it is from the transcendental realms from the super mind that things then start happening here he is the creator it is because of him that the our mind can produce a multiplicity 
for a certain purpose. There is a complete unity in the supramental domain, in the supramental realm. But the divisive multiplicity starts appearing from the over mind. The unifying multiplicity is present in the super mind. Now, Savitri says that all those aspects of truth, the truth supreme, she speaks of the truth supreme, all those aspects of truth we cannot understand. Human language, human capacity, being totally mental, it cannot comprehend those things at all. You see. In fact, the faculty of our mind is that it is at once comprehending and apprehending consciousness. It sees an object, it knows what the objects had to tell to it. It understands what the object is going to tell it to him, to supermind. At the same time, it comprehends by its own effort, it knows what that could be, what that knowledge is. So it has simultaneously the faculty of apprehending and comprehending an object. You see. see, what happens in our case at the mental level, we see an object. It is the eye which throws the light on the object, but it does not catch the meaning of the object. It is what is reflected from the object into our eyes that we see from the mental faculty. Our manasa, the sense of comprehension of manasa, mind, is that what is thrown by the object into our mind, it is that we try to understand. So therefore it is simply a shadow of that objective reality. And Savitri says that there are ranges like that, we have to go beyond all these ranges, beyond sadhnana, which is the supreme sense of mind, supreme sense of comprehension, beyond that you have to go with jnana, then you know the full reality. So Savitri is telling death that if you are able to see things from the supramental point of view, it will know the reality of each and every object. You can't say that this is false. You can't say that this is a house wherein the divine cannot live. You have not really understood the nature of things here. The nature of things lies in the knowledge that comes from the supramental faculty. You have to see from that angle. Then only you will recognize the necessity also of why the divine should come here and live in this terrestrial creation. That is what she is trying to argue and tell Yama that this is the real metaphysics and you better understand that. Mm -hmm.